taking this for granted. This is our last game. We play with everything we got. We run in the football. We beat someone. Hey, defense on me. Defense on me. One, two, three. Defense. This game wrap is presented by Ideal Vision, one-of-a-kind eye care for one-of-a-kind eyes. Visit their locations all across San Antonio and in Somerset. By Smash Mouth Football Fight for the win. And by San Antonio Masonry and Steel. Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that red subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great local sports coverage that TV and radio refuse to cover. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Taft taking on O'Connor, two teams with different thoughts after tonight's game. For Taft, they're heading to the playoffs, still with a chance to get the district title, depending on what happens. For O'Connor, though, it's the end of the line, a 2-7 and seven season. They'll be looking for 2022. A lot of people thinking that Taft is going to blow out O'Connor with an opportunity to have a shot at the district title. That's not exactly what happened. Let's take you to Ferris Stadium and show you what did happen, presented by Ideal Vision, Smash Mouth Football, and San Antonio Masonry and Steel. Last game for the O'Connor seniors, you heard Jacob Hillis in the open. There's John Locke, whose next game will be for the Rams. Not Los Angeles or San Antonio Marshall, though I'm sure both would love to borrow his services, but the Colorado State Rams. There's Jack Rogalinski, anchor of the offensive line. And another senior is Gavin Hampton, number 53. Linemen rarely are heard from, but they always do a lot, and offenses cannot run without a great offensive line. We were grinding. We, we were so anxious to get it going. It was all about the energy, keeping everybody going, and just pushing through regardless of scores, regardless of our record, just always coming out and dominating and trying to do our thing. Taft led by TJ Andrews and Justice Hurt, who put a big hurt on playoff opponents last year and will this year as well. Opening kickoff, Ricky Stade loves Molesky ball. Surprise onside kick recovered by Sane Norderatis. Deep in O'Connor territory, but oh no, you see the penalty flag on the field that would drive Stade insane. Offside on the kickoff, Taft would eventually do a traditional kickoff and eventually Kyle Gill, a senior with a nine yard touchdown run O'Connor up 7-0. Ensuing Taft drive, fourth and goal from the five. Ricky Stade passed on the field goal, hurt handoff to Andrews, but stopped well short of the goal line. Big goal line stand for the Panthers, which would factor later in the contest. The whole coaching staff, they're telling us to finish. That's all it's been about, class and effort, the entire season long and he's time to finish. And it's our last game, so we got nothing to lose, and we're giving it all out here. So that's what it's about. Next half drive, this time Hurt says, I'll keep it myself. 14-yard touchdown run, sevens wild after one. Second quarter, Lara fade the lock, got a foot in for the score, 14-7 O'Connor. Remember, it's not what can lock do for you, it's what can lock do to you. Taft would score later in the quarter to tie it up. Next O'Connor possession, La Rock, great pass to Miles Boussinet. Another senior banged off two defenders for the score. 21-14 O'Connor. Panthers not playing like a team that has been out of playoff contention the last few weeks. Right before halftime, Hurt tried to move Taft down the field. Hit by senior Ryan Summerhays as he tried to pitch the fun size object recovered by senior Connor Martinez. O'Connor up by a touchdown at break time. Second half, O'Connor ball fourth and one at the Raider 38 Seth Galindo another senior bounced off the line and picked up the first down new set of downs and Lara with the floater touchdown hauled in by Locke his final high school score 28-14 O'Connor after three brought to you by Ideal Vision one of a kind eye care for one of a kind eyes in that final period Lara screen pass to Kyle Gill made two guys miss made a third guy miss 
made a fourth guy miss, touchdown Panthers. It was their final points of the season, 35-14 with 9.37 remaining. LaRoff finished with 294 yards passing, four touchdowns. As Coach Wesley says, it's with class and total effort, and the offensive line, they just did their, their job, and they made a hole for me to get through. We're just hoping that we can, we can set it right for the next underclassmen for the next year and make sure they can get a good track and have a better record than we did this year. The Taft offense, though, would eventually wake up in the final nine minutes. Andrew scored on a short run not shown. This is shown. Hurd and Chriswell got everything worked out. 80-yard catch and run, and suddenly it's down to 35-28 with 5-20 remaining. O'Connor missed two field goals in the closing minutes that could have iced it. Taft, though, would get another chance with 111 remaining. David Molesky can't watch. Hurts to Chriswell, first down into O'Connor territory. Hurts scrambling, avoiding the sack pass right through the hands of Summer A's and into the hands of Jaden Alleman, first down. The tip drill giveth, and the tip drill giveth away. Hurts pass off Julio Sanchez and right to Dominic Vasquez. He's not a senior, he's a junior, but he made the game ending play. Hold that ball up like Petey did and remember the Titans. I saw two people going out, we're playing deep so they don't score. <sighs> and then I see, the, I see the, the pass to the shorter route. I jump to that, I slip, but like the ball gets bounced up and I grab it midair while I'm falling down. Every situation is different every week. Their situation was, it was their last game of the year. Our situation is, is we're trying to play well and get in the playoffs and play well. Uh, we're in the playoffs and we're just trying to make sure that we're, we're humming and, and, and where we need to be. We just didn't play well enough. At the end of the day, we didn't make enough plays on third and fourth down on offense or defense. And that was the difference in the game. O'Connor rough start to the season ends with a 35-28 win. They finished three and one after starting the season 0-6. The seniors rode off with a win. The loss eliminated Taft from district championship contention, but if Brennan beats Marshall Thursday in the 29-6A district title game, Taft will still finish second. If Marshall wins, they will finish in third. Marshall and Taft go 6A Division II, while Brennan and Harlan go Division I. Reporting from Ferris Stadium, I'm Greg Sherman.